Hey guys, it's Sensibility here, and today I am going to do a kind of like a recap of um, my collection of perfume oils. Um, yeah. So um, when I first started off with this, I had two empty trays, and you guys are going to be like utterly shocked when you see how much I have. Okay, so based off of the picture, you can see that oh, let me see if it'll let it turn around it will okay check it there so we officially have two full trays two full trays of nothing but perfume oils um these two right here are my samples and then i started to put some of the um larger bottles in there and I will talk about those because I did get some new ones today and that's why the card is sitting here. Okay, so I'm going to try and go over this um, because if you look back here, these are all my 10ml bottles, um, which I love the smell from this company and I bought them from um, itsy.com. But I had ordered five mLs and they said they were all out so they said they'd be giving me more I was lucky if they even put two mLs in here so I feel like they kind of scammed me in other words like I said if they smell absolutely divine and stunning but I think they're ripping their customers off because I did not get five mLs in any of these bottles at all. And they said due to inconvenience, they would give me a little more. So, um, yeah, that was a joke. Okay, so in the back here, we have... Um, why is my camera making it so blurry? Let's focus. Because I have tape on them. So these ones, uh, like I have in my hand right now, um, these particular ones are from Perfume Parlor. Um, and I really, really love theirs. Uh, so they're like a generic perfume, um, dot coms, but they're 10 ml, so they're double the quantity. So those will be able to make 3.4 ounce bottles. Then, let's see, some of the other ones that we have. We have a lot of the perfume parlors here. I did order quite a bit from that company. This one is one from them. Um, this was one that um, leaked, so I went ahead. I have spare roller balls myself, so I just kind of put it in there. So, that's how that one came about. I don't have a slot for it, so I just kind of shoved it in there. And then, let's see what's over here. We have this beauty right here. Um, this is the this is a uh, jerk off one. Um, this is the only one I have by this company. And I'm trying to get it. There we go. To focus, I ordered this particular one off of eBay. Um, and it smells absolutely divine. Oh my goodness, I could not put that one down. Let's see, the rest in this little cart thing right here are the um, Precious Pearls. Um, these are 10 mLs, but they add the DG to them to make them skin safe. So technically, there's only 5 mLs of perfume in here. They still smell absolutely phenomenal. They are amazing. Um, so um, if you order from them... I'm just going to make it very clear that these particular 10 ml bottles can only make a 1.7 ounce. You only have half of the fragrance in there, so you truly only have um, 5 mls of fragrance in there. Which, um, over here with the uh, Perfume Parlor, these are true 10 mls. They are as pure as it gets. They're pretty much just like the generic perfumes.com, except for it's a larger quantity. So there's that. So these are all of my 10 mLs. I have tons of them. Um, like I said, they smell absolutely amazing. Um, I don't I haven't checked all of them. 
I just know that the um, one or two that I did make of these, they only had at the most two mLs, and that's quite disappointing for how much I paid for them. So I don't know how I feel about them. Okay, so we're, I'm just going to try and make this as quickly as possible. Um, you're going to see a lot of like gold, black, flat ones. Um, so Generic Perfumes has changed their bottles a couple times. Um, to kind of like, I really like these bottles because they give the customer the... Um, the Middle Western or Arabic feel, they give them a sense of culture, the feel of culture, because technically over in the Middle Eastern, a lot of their fragrances are put in what they call atars, and this is what they look like. They have a little dipstick in them, and you just use the dipstick and dab it on you. But um, there is going to be some people out there that have these particular ones, which are the... Um, essential oil type style bottles um, so that is that so if you look the majority sitting over here are genericperfume.com um, these are all the lovely samples that I get from ordering the 12 packs so um, I just keep them they're collected right here um, I will use them to create um, Perfume roller balls because they're, you know, just enough to make what you need to make. So it's really hard to put these things back in here when I'm holding the thing. Okay, so for the most part, all of these, all of these up until this point, this one is a flat one. So this one I can tell right now is um, APO, which is Arabian Perfume Oils. That is um, the very, this is the very first uh, perfume oil company that I purchased from. And this company is truly the one that um, made me fall in love with perfume oils. So um, I will always keep that company at heart. But my favorite company as far as um, the number of fragrances that they offer and so forth is definitely genericperfumes.com. Um, I don't know if you guys have been on their website lately. They did um, rechange uh, some things on their webpage, gave it a new look. Um, and, you know, I'm sure they'll probably be doing modifications here and there just to kind of make it more user friendly and so forth. So that is that. Then I had an order that I had placed for 50 oils from my first perfume oil company here in the United States. Um, I do feel like where generic perfumes is more the Arabic style, these ones, which you can see, these are kind of flat here. They're all right in here. They're being mixed in with the other ones. And then they are right in here because I was starting to run out of space. Like, my thing's full. So, um, and these are full-strength fragrances. Um, woo, let me pull this back. I don't know why. I don't like it. Um, I'm trying to show you guys, but it's not coming up. So, um, this particular person carries a lot of the Lush fragrances. Um, so, let me put this back. Um, this particular one is called Fireside. I think just because of the writing. And these smell so good. Like, um, I'm going to actually um, flip this around real quick. Do, 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 do. Am I in there? Yes. So I have not smelt any of these yet. I got them out of their package and um, some of the labels are starting to come off so I'll probably have to take them. Not a big deal. But let me go ahead and tell you about this particular company. It's called Valerie's Uncommon Scents. She offers about 400 fragrances. Um, there is some designer in there, probably about 
a hundred designers, I think. Um, a lot of them are custom made fragrances that she does. Um, these are 100%. If you would like to order from her, um, she does make her skin safe. Um, these are considered her samples, which are about 4 ml, so it's decent size. You can make a 1.7 ounce bottle out of it. Um, it'd just be a little bit lighter of a scent, or you could just stick with a uh, 1 ounce bottle. Like, are we there? Okay. But um, what I asked her, and this is what she can offer, but it's only in the sample, so you have to tell her sample she can make them full strength, omit the DG, which makes them skin safe, um, if you want to make them for uh, perfume sprays. If you are looking to go ahead and do this kind of rollerball style, you want to keep the DG in there so that way it doesn't irritate your skin because these are highly potent. Okay, so back to this. Her web her website is right here she gives a 10% off to first-time customers um, I don't know if they're any cheaper like I said I ordered mine off of eBay shipping was reasonable it wasn't very expensive at all I think I paid maybe 10 bucks for all of this to be shipped to, to me and I got 50 different fragrances. So I'm just going to keep this up for a minute. That way, if anybody wants to, you know, she offers uh, a save a 10. So you can save 10% off your order. I didn't even get the 10% off of my order. But like I said, I bought 50 of them. I paid $100. So these little samples right here are $2 a piece. And I'm going to open one up and I'm going to smell it because I have not um, smelt them yet. She was super fast with my order. Like, it took her a couple days, but I mean, that's kind of expected when, um, you know, you've been not used to such a large order. This one is called Incent and Oud. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Mm, it smells good. It's super strong, guys. Mm, I like the smell of that one. Okay, let's see. Like I said, I have 50 fragrances here, so I'm going to try to randomly pull some out and see what we have here. We have, apparently, I keep, I must keep pulling out Oud because I picked somewhere totally different. This one's called Velvet Tender Oud Type. Let's, let's find out what that's all about. They are definitely the um, same concentrate as the genericperfumes.com. Um, I just try to keep track of which ones I've used. That way I know what sellers. What is this piece of hair doing here? Like, good lord. Okay. Ooh, an Arabian spice. So she does have some Middle Eastern ones in there too, so... Ooh, that one's spicy. Mmm. I'd say overall, um, these are really pretty uh, perfumes. If you want to try, if you're looking for something very unique, maybe signature-wise, maybe try this company. Like I said, her um, company's name is Valerie's Uncommon Sense, um, which is really cute. Like I said, um, you may be able to find you a custom signature. If you're just one of those people where you just don't want the fragrance that everybody's wearing. Now, she has a lot of, like, beachy scents, so I'm hoping that I pull one out. Okay, this one is a pretty much a dupe for um, Tom Ford. Um, this one is the Tuscan Leather type. So, let me go ahead and open this up, and let's smell it. Mmm, that one's good. I like it. Mm, smells pretty. Now, I'm going to pull out one more. Let me see what we got over here in this pile. Beach House. This one is called Peach House by Valerie's and Common Scent. And her little labels want to come off, but these are 4 mls. 
it's definitely a decent size for $1.99. You can't beat that. I mean, with genericperfumes.com, how much are we paying for uh, for one extra ml of this? I think you pay like $7 a bottle for this. So you're getting four for $1.99. And if you tell her full strength, she will omit the dilutant in it and make it this way. And you can tell like, it's like a liquid, the bubble. Pay attention to the bubble. If the bubble seems to take a minute, it's thick and it's probably, but let's go ahead and smell this one. Cause I was like looking for her for like beachy scents. Oh, this one smells really good. I like this one, the beach house one. Mm. This one's a very pretty one. So, um, I wish I could sit here and tell you like all of the multiple fragrances that I got from her, but as you guys can tell, I have tons of oils, and I hate to say it, I'm probably not done. So, because I still have a lot of fragrances that I want to get from genericperfumes.com, um, I still have a big order coming in from, it's called uh, Perfume People. So I have an order coming in from Perfume People. I want to put an order in from... For, for niche perfume oils um, and what's the other company I think those are the two companies that I want to get some of the oils from that generic perfumes doesn't have um, I really try to stay with genericperfume.com because I know how much their price is um, I know that I they usually always have some kind of promo code going so I can save money I'm just like you guys. I spend my money just like you guys. Um, I don't get a discount. Whatever discount I get, it's offered to you guys. Um, I just, I really, really like this company. And I'm starting to notice the more and more that I wear these perfume oils, the less I want to pick up my brand name bottles and spray them. Because it's not that they don't smell good. Um, because the perfume oil that I get from here, I can match it up with the brand name bottle. The, the reason why I like the perfume oils over the brand name bottles and it just in a bottle itself is these are super concentrated. They are really strong. So when I make a spray out of it, it's taking the brand name perfume and doubling it. It's it, the strength. It's just, it stands out more. So that's why I really have been, as you can see, building my collection of perfume oils. Also the fact that, I'll say this until I'm blue in my face, but this little, first of all, this little bottle doesn't take up much space. Um, the price you pay, I actually had a young lady today, I had two people uh, message me on Facebook, and it's totally fine if you find me on Facebook and you wanna message me and ask me questions privately, that's totally fine. I'm fine with it. Um, when I get the time, I will answer your questions and help you with whatever you want help with because that is the whole thing of this channel is to help you with perfume, either to save money, to um, kind of oh compare and contrast the brand name to the oils, um, you know, what companies I bought from, if you're not a crafty person, the best place to buy, um, you know, the replica perfumes from, who sells the best replicas? That is the question. A lot of people will be out there saying, you know, this smells just like this and it's crappy. Nobody likes to throw their money down the drain. You either have people that are seriously overpriced, which I try to find the best priced, reasonably priced, get the best deal, bargain diva type thing when it comes to my oils. I try to do that with the perfume sprays too because I got to sit here and consider the person's time, the alcohol, the fragrance that goes into it, the cost for the bottle. So you're going to spend more when it's being created in an alcohol base um, because it, more products went into it. Essentially, this is just a bottle and your pure fragrance. So you cut back a lot of the things and you 
essentially when you create your own spray, you invest your money into the bottles. Well, I've showed you guys in my videos how you can recycle or upcycle and reuse certain bottles, like Joe Malone bottles can be refilled. Um, Erin um, Lauder, I think that's what hers are called, those can be refilled. Um, what are some other ones? Joe Malone. Oh, I'm trying to think right now. If you buy bottles from um, Precious Pearls, which I personally think their um, perfume fragrances are like the bomb in, a, in the spray form, instead of buying them this way, buy them in the spray from this company, and they are the shit. They, uh, they don't add the DG to them. And they actually make theirs very strong. So I, I just prefer their sprays over their roller balls. And I have not tried this company as far as Perfume Parlor. If they have any sprays. But I highly, highly recommend their oils. These are pure. I mean, they have to be pure as strong as they are. They really catch people's attention. People have told me they dilute them down. I know that they have several different um, things on their website, so maybe I just clicked the right one that gave me pure, but I absolutely love those too. Those are really, really good. You can find some um, fragrances on this particular website on Perfume Parlor that may not be available on genericperfume.com's website, so I do bounce back and forth from fragrances. Because I am collecting these. So, um, like I said, the best budgeted price place is genericperfumes.com. You will see in my collection that the majority of them come from that particular company. And it's because they offer almost 2,200 fragrances. You cannot beat that. Plus, they give you samples. They have a packet deal. Then you get... You know, sometimes they have a, like right now, Valentine's Day. If you are watching this and you are like going, should I order from genericperfumes.com? Um, I had somebody send me a message today. She ordered um, 12 of the 5 mLs and um, she even got the 15% off. Um, so it's a, it's a great time to try out or even somewhat stock up. I think her order, she's from the United States, so the most she spent was 75 bucks. That's the cost for one bottle of perfume. She is now going to have 12 bottles of perfume. 12. You cannot beat that. So if you are going to go onto genericperfume.com's uh, website, when you're done from here, type in the code VDAY and get your 15% off. Definitely look into the... 12 by 5 ml um, packet deal save you some money try out some new fragrances so yes let me finish okay so some of the fragrances that i've been sent in my samples are right here i'm gonna slowly just to kind of give you an idea of what type of um, fragrances that genericperfume.com sends to in their packets. This one was a very, very big order. I think I spent almost $500 um, for this one. I think this one was a Christmas one, Christmas order, which I ain't going to lie, I had a really good Christmas, and I've had a really good Valentine's thanks to my wonderful husband and moi. So these are some of the, I'm sorry it's backwards, but... They send you fragrances, not just like ones you're not familiar with. They send you fragrances that they sell in the big bottle. So you get to try them out. Like I said, you can, I have a video posted where you can use these small samples and get you either some ah, Jehovah oil or coconut oil and get you a little roller ball and make you a little roller ball. And you can try this out and see if you like it or not you know if you don't then you haven't lost anything um type of deal and you can just call it a day so 
let's go back. I'm going to flip this back around, guys, and I'm going to show you pretty much the rest of my um, perfume collection or my oils. It was supposed to turn. Okay, so as you can see, um, these are mainly generic at perfumes.com. The bumped ones are, like I said, the new style that they're doing, which I think is absolutely cute. I absolutely love these. Um, just my opinion. Um, they're coming from Kuwait. I think a company, as a company and as a customer, um, you need to be able to appreciate um, more than just the perfume oil. You need to understand and respect what goes into it, where it comes from, and the culture, and also why um, these perfume oils, the quality of them is so good. You know, like the history of it as far as uh, Middle Eastern um, countries have been pretty much holding on to the original forms of perfumery that it's been passed down for many generations. So they really, really know their stuff when it comes to perfumes in general. Um, also, um, they're really they're really good about doing these. And the reason is, is in a lot of the Middle Eastern countries, um, access to alcohol is very limited um, due to uh, religious beliefs. So they like to make things like these called atars, which has the fragrance, and then it has um, like Jehovah oil put in it, so that way it mimics the skin. Um, they will let these age, so, and they will thicken up. Some of them get super, super thick. Um, I don't expect that in these ones because these are not the type of, you know, materials that they put in they use a lot of oud earthy type things but that's just you know that's why i like the atars because um it's more than just a perfume oil this is a little bit of their culture and um these are the type of bottles that they use there's a purpose for it and it's mainly because they don't use too much alcohol based products in their country for religious purposes so that was a nice little um, change there. And the fact that it comes with the little dipsticky in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, makes it easy to apply. This is my new one that I got. Delaney Exclusive. So yes, people, they've got some good stuff. They have a couple more new uh, fragrances on their website. They're in those blue bottles. So, I can't wait to try those. I don't know if anybody's ever tried those. Like I said, they have so many brands that I have never heard of. Ever heard of. And it's like the greatest opportunity to be able to say, look how big my collection is. I have fragrances in here that I have never heard of. Probably would have never bought because they're so ungodly expensive. Um, and a lot of niches are very expensive. So... With that said, we have these black ones are um, genericperfume.com. And then if you see any of the flat ones, those are the APO, which they are a really, really good company too. They're exactly the same. Um, you're either going to get a really good perfume oil or you're going to get a crappy one. There's just, that's all there is to it. You can tell what companies sell the real ones, which companies sell the knockoff. Um, so, and again, this is APO, which is called um, Arabian Perfume Oil. That's another company that you could check in. He sells probably at the max. His little website is now growing um, at the max, I think, probably 500 to 1,000 fragrances. And I've, 1,000 is really, really high on that. And so um, you can see... I've got them kind of grouped together. I think these are all of my Image fragrances, which I bought 90% of my Image fragrances from um, APO. Then you have, um, like, let me go in here and pull these out. What collection is this? Oh, yeah. 
I got a Baccarat Rouge 540 Extract. That's how I know that this smells just like my Baccarat 540 Extract that I bought. It smells just like it. Don't waste your money getting that expensive-ass bottle. Just buy this. And this is 5 ml, so it's going to make you a nice 1.7 ounce bottle. No, it's not going to make you a massive bottle, but it's a good way to try it out. And if you don't, you know, if you like it, just pick up two the next time. Yeah, so I'm trying to show you guys. Like, they had a lot of Lancome ones. Pull out the grouping here. These are Givenchy ones. So I'm going to start over in this corner, and I'm just going to kind of pull out a grouping of them and tell you kind of what these are. Okay, so we have the uh, McCliff, McCliff ones. Let me see if these are all McCliffs. Yeah. Ooh, I think I see some Rose the Dove up in here. Yep. So in here is the McCliff and the Rose the Dove ones. Um, you have uh, Namastado. There's a couple nam Namastados up in there. Um, uh, Cree Navarre. Let's, let me see. I gotta pull out another one. These are the YSLs, I believe. Um, tuxedo. I'm trying to see what else is in here. Splendid Wood. Yeah, I think these are the YSL ones. I could be wrong, though. Guys, don't kill me. Um, YSL. What was that one that was over here? It was all by itself. Vihoja de Cuba. This is a Bordeaux one. Some of them I only have, like, a couple in the line. Yeah, and these are pretty much, I love homage, guys. I think homage smells really good. Um, they definitely have, and I will be purchasing the Mel ones, and it's because I have heard that the on the Mel line, it's definitely unisex, so women can wear the Mel uh, versions of the homages, so I will be trying those, um, or ordering them, so for the most part, these are just nothing but, is that a Namastado too? In Hindu, I think so. We may have a few. Okay, so this little section right here, but all of these back are the Amash ones. So this is just giving you guys an idea of all the different fragrances that they have. This is a Kimmy um, Blending Magic. I think I have like three or four in that line. These are probably a majority of them are my Lancome. Ooh, look, we got a Christian... Clive, which one is this? this is C, I think. Um, Diesel. I didn't have as many uh, Lancome ones. Let's go into here. Uh, we have the Gavinci ones. Let me grab one here just to make sure these are still the Gavinci. Yeah, Amber Tiger. And, you know, I've got, like, the Mademoiselle ones in there. Okay. This is a new one that I bought a bottle of, and it was very, very expensive. Great. Now my dog's barking. It's... Justice! Quiet! Uh, my husband got me a bottle of it for Valentine's Day. So, it's the Stephen Humbart uh, Lucas 777. And I don't think this is the one that I got solely. There's like three or four of them that they have. Okay, here's a Byretta one. Um, um, Frederick Mall. So this is going to be a lot of my Frederick Malls. Let me pull them out. Mediterranean. What? This was supposed to be in order. Mediterranean. Yeah, yeah that's a Frederick Mall one. Cardinal Flower. Um, yep, iris. So they have quite a bit, guys. You just got to kind of look at it. So then we can go over to here. And I got these trays. I don't know if you guys are like one 
like where the heck did I get these trays from? I actually bought these trays from um, O Time Pottery. I'm gonna go back and get two more because I have room on the shelf that I sit these on. I stack them on top, uh, top of each other, so I have room to stack two more to fill up. But the reason I like these so well is because they can stay stored in these little trays like this for 15 to 20 years, and they're totally safe. They're not going to go bad. They're not going to expire because they don't have any additives to them. They are the per pure fragrance. They probably won't even expire, expire, period. They're like essential oils. So um, that's pretty much how you make a fragrance. Let's see what we got going on here in the city. So these are my Killians back here. Um, let me see. Yep, there's another Killian. I didn't think I had that many. Um, um, there's some Creed in here. So this is probably my Killians and my Creed's. Uh, there's my Zhirgolf. I really love Zhirgolf, um fragrances. Um, these are the Soperia, I believe. Soperia fragrances. Yes. Um, still haven't tried any of those yet. And I've been looking online to get one of their bottles, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I just, I have no more room. These, uh, this particular one, there's three of them. It's called BDK. Um, that's another company that's new to me. Of course, you got Parfum de Marley, which they, I pretty much have all of them. So that's how I compared my latent exclusive was to the one that I have here. Um, Passessoir, that's another um, BDK one. Soporia. Soporia is actually made by this particular company. Um, it's another line that they've branched off, so I believe so. So Zhirgoff is, um, you know, it, it's an Italian company. And this is, um, the Soporia is um, their second company that they've branched off. Just gave it a different name. So, I think a lot of these right here are the Saporia ones. Saporia. Um, M. Galloway. M. Dolphin. Okay, so these are the Perfume de Marley. So, these are some extras that didn't fit there. So, here's all my Perfume de Marley ones. And I don't have all of them. Like, I don't have Pegasus. Um... A couple other ones that I'll probably be getting for my husband since he's obsessed with that Layton. Then those are all the um, ones that I just got in from that one lady. I think these were like miscellaneous ones. Um, Florentel. I can't remember who made that one. Who is this? Um, Black Oud. This is by Thomas K. Um, ooh. Look, I can't even get it to fit back in there now. Okay. That thing is still leaking. It's like weird. Like, I don't understand this bottle. I got it sitting in here forever in a decade. So, I just want to clean up. Sometimes you're going to have this issue, guys, when you have perfume oils. Another one, okay, so this one is a Byretto, so APO sells Byrettos, which I really, really liked his, um, I ordered a no, uh, Rose Noir and the Bibliotech from him, and the Bibliotech was like, oh my god, I had to make a 3.4 ounce bottle in that because it was just so freaking strong, it was absolutely stunning. So then we go to, it looks like our Bond number 9s collection here um yeah so let's see what we got over here patchouli uh, Rem this one's a remnants it's kind of a new one i'm not used to um another kimmy blending so you can tell these are my newer ones i haven't matched them up with these ones yet there's just too many at this point coney island uh royal rose Nolito, 
Um, Grant, okay, so we got some Christian Dewar ones in here. Leather Oud. Clone Royal. So as you guys can see, they've got quite a bit. We should go through this one pretty quickly. Um, Neroli Blanco. Um, this one is by um, Ope de Orange. Um, I actually um, got a good deal on a bottle from a lady that was selling it. And then she went to go package it up. And she went to go spray it just to kind of test it because she hadn't used it in a while. And it went rancid, so she had to refund me back. So I was very sad about that. Um, this one is by Etro. Um, it's another niche company. Um, Bangalore. This one is by um, Carvan or Carvin. Um, oh, look, guys. We got some Chanel. I pretty much bought all of the Chanel line. That's how I've been kind of doing it, like um, buying them in groups. I need to buy all of the Montel. Um, Montel and Mansara are by the same company. So it's another company that did two different lines. So Montel and, Man and Mansara are the same. It's just they're, I guess, supposed to be presented with two different vibes. So let me see what we got going on here. We got some Tom Ford. I did get the Lost Cherry. I have not smelled this one yet. I don't smell them yet. So the ones with the gold bubbles are the last order that I did with them. Um, so I have been getting some of the Montels. They have like 40 or 50 of these Montels. So just the Montels. Um, and again, like I said, Montel and the Menceras are all by the same company, just under two different name lines. So there is a quite a bit to buy. And let's see what we got back here. So these are my Louis Vuittons. Um, yes. Which they smell really good. I think this isn't a Christian Clive Chanel. I don't know. Let me see. Who do we know we have? Pen, uh, so this is a Pen Halligan one. They've got Pen Halligan. They've got Creed. They got pretty much everything you can think of. Vetiver Tonka. So I got some Hermes, which I did pick up a couple um, bottles of Hermes. So at least one that one, two, maybe two that I own to compare with, and they smell really, really good. So that's where we're at now guys this is how big my perfume collection has grown um and it's gonna continue to grow a little bit more yes i know you're probably thinking holy shit that's crazy um i've had a lot of people approach me and ask me you know am i wanting to sell these or you know sell them as sprays and so forth and honestly i I don't know what I want to do. Um, I do have business experience, and now I'm getting experience in healthcare field, which, um, you know, that's good. And I've just been kind of like pondering with the ideal of what does Indiana lack? Honestly, I think it'd be really cool if um, I had the funding to be able to open a um, a perfume bar, kind of like Lucky Scents has done in um, California, where people can come in and they socialize and smell the different perfumes and truly be able to find a fragrance that suits them. Um, you know, even if maybe that day, it, it, you know, they don't find anything, it's something that they can come back into or keep coming back to that particular fragrance until they know for sure they're ready to buy it. I think it would just be, you know, really good to talk about. And I want to be able to, if I ever do it, open up um, that perfume bar and, you know, have all these new fragrances that people aren't used to, new brands. You know, try and get as many unique brands that we're not used to. Um, that way people can really find a signature scent that, um, 
suits them, but I want to do it from a perfume oil stance, not from the brand name stance. So that is where I'm at. I plan to do another order very soon with, um, like I said, genericperfumes.com. And I still have an order coming in from Perfume People, which Perfume People is similar to um, Precious Pearls, as in they add the DG to their. So I believe I ordered 10 ml bottles. So technically, I will only have 5 ml of the fragrance to work with. Um, but they also have a very, very large, the, probably the biggest collection of Lush fragrances. And some of those, um, they had some of the Dipanique. They have a really big collection of the Dipanique fragrances. Um, you guys are going to have to excuse my banana pill because I was freaking starving. But, oh, wow, I didn't realize this video is this long. So that is my massive collection. Um, I'm going to start another video on these beauties that I just got in the mail today. So with that said, I am so sorry this was so long, but you guys have an awesome day. Whoa, my hand's in the way. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching my perfume oil collection.